before I forget, I just want you guys to make sure that you subscribe to my channel right now and turn on those notifications so that you don't miss any of my tutorials. Also, head over to Facebook and come join our Chase and Sunray Sun Clan family. It's so supportive, so inspirational, so amazing. Come and join us, you guys. And yes, that's it. Let's get right into this tutorial. Y'all don't mind me. I look like a baked potato today, but you know, we had shit to do. So y'all just gonna get this baked potato. Look, Mr. Potato Head. Who, who is he? Who is he? He's a french fry this fat. <laughs> the overweight french fry. Set it here, Mr. Set it We're coming for y'all. For y'all whole entire lives. All of it. Welcome back to my channel, Chasing Sunray. It's your girl, Radiance, and I'm back with another tutorial. I hope you guys enjoy the intro. Yes, today we are making this beautiful, dramatic ass bell sleeve top. You guys, this 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 top was just giving me so much life. Just look at it in all its dramatic glory. And it didn't even take that long to make, you guys. It didn't. I'm I'm living for this top. I'm just I'm living for it. But yes, you guys, today we are going to be using a, we're using Caron Latte Cakes, you guys. Caron Latte Cakes. I'm living for this yarn, you guys. I love it. It's so soft. It's so comfortable. It's just, oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. And we're using a 6.5 millimeter hook. You're also going to need like a measuring. I interrupt this program with a very important announcement. I do say this later on in the video, but I wanted to say it again at the beginning of this video. I am making a size small. If you are making a size small, then you can follow along along with me with my foundation chain if you are not making a size small the way to figure out how how big your chain needs to be you're just going to take your bust measurement measure your bust and then you're going to divide your bust measurement by two whatever that number however many inches that is that's how long your foundation chain needs to be yeah I had to come in and say that real quick just in case because I realized that I, I, I didn't tell y'all when I was recording the original voiceover. But yes, you guys, let's jump right back into it. Tape, scissors, you know, the normal. Anyways, how we're going to start off, you can start this project off two ways. You can either chain 61 and then uh, half double crochet in the second chain from the hook all the way down so that you have 60 stitches. You can do that. But, you know, we start with the slip knot. That's what I'm doing now. We're just doing a slip knot. And I'm showing you guys, if you're going to chain up, you're going to do it like that. This is how you would do it. I'm just going to do a little short chain. Even though I know you guys know what to do. Y'all know how to do this. I don't have to tell y'all. But for the people who don't, this is how you do it. If you was going to do it. And just go ahead, pretend that I changed 60 because I'm not going to change 60 because that's not how I'm doing mine. Half double crochet in the second chain from the hook. And then you're going to half double crochet all the way down. But me, I am not going to do it like that. I'm actually going to use the half double crochet foundation chain because who has the time to be counting chains and doing all of that? No, your girl is just going to do a half double crochet foundation chain. But again, I'm still just showing you guys if you are going to do it. The normal way, this is how you would do it. But, you know, <laughs> delete, delete, delete. Your girl, I'm not doing that. I'm not. I'm not. We're going to do a half double crochet foundation chain. But all that matters is that you end up with a chain. Your foundation is 60. That's it. But to do a half double crochet foundation chain, you're just going to chain up three like I just did. Then you're going to uh, wrap your yarn around. You're going to go right into that first chain. Pull up a loop go through and then go through all three y'all i'm sorry i really kind of don't know how to explain a half double crochet foundation i will actually drop a link in the description box below to some more in-depth versions in-depth in-depth 
versions of how to do a half double crochet foundation chain it's actually really kind of hard to show you guys with this kind of yarn because it's just so fuzzy you know it's giving you those that fun fur vibe but not not quite fun fur vibe but almost but yeah you just want to have a chain if you can't do the foundation girl just do the just do the regular one you just chain your 61 half double crochet in the second hook and all the way down you know just go ahead and do it like that. But if you if you are if you are advanced and you know what you're doing, girl, go ahead and get into that T and just do the half double crochet foundation chain like me. Cause girl, who has the time? But yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm just uh, you guys. Now that I have a new setup of how I record my tutorials, I am able to show you guys a little bit more on um. I can show you guys a little bit more. Of what I'm doing without, you know, being uncomfortable and stuff. So, we will. This tutorial is going to be a little bit long. But, you know, you guys who already know what you're doing, y'all can just, you know, I'll put the timestamps in so you guys don't have to sit here and wait on, you know, us, us slow pokes to do it. You know, some of y'all think y'all badass. Y'all just want to get it on out the way. Like, ain't nobody got time to be looking. You know what to do, girl. You don't want to wait. So, yeah. But for those of you who need a little more visual, girl, I got you today. I got you. I got you today. But yeah, I'm just, you know, showing you guys how to do the foundation. And I'm just going to do 60 of those. You're just going to want to do 60. Well, it depends. I'm making a size small, you guys. I'm so sorry. But this this is supposed to be like an oversized sweater. This is a size small. You know, you're going to want to do it to... Half of your bust, you want to take your bust measurement and then whatever half of your bust is, that is what you want it to be. You want this chain to be the size of half of your bust. My girl's bust is a 32, so mine's is a 16. So yeah, here we are. We at the end. You're just going to chain up one and turn your work and boom, you got your foundation chain started and now you're just going to half double crochet in that very same stitch in all the way down this is so easy you guys this tutorial is so this is such an easy tutorial right now we're working on the length of the um sweater we're working on the the length of the body but like i said you're gonna want this to be because we're working it in two panels we're not doing it in a round we're working it in two panels so you want you want the panel to be half of your bust size so, yeah, make sure you guys, make sure you get that, honey, because I almost forgot. I, I almost forgot to tell y'all, like, girl, just jumping straight into the See, I'm just excited to be behind the mic today, you guys. I just don't, I don't know. I'm just excited. But, yeah, I'm just um, going to speed up that for you guys. Just speed it up. And yeah, here we are coming up on the end of that. That's me putting it into that very last one, that very last half double crochet. There you have it. Now you're just going to chain up one, turn your work, and you're just going to half double crochet all the way down. All the way. Just like we've been doing. I'm telling you guys, this is such an easy tutorial. Tut -tut tutorial. Yeah, just going all the way down. Woo, child. The speed. I wish I could crochet that fast in real life, you guys. Like, girl, your girl would be busting it out left and right. If only, if only. So, yeah, here we are coming up on the end of that row. And you guys, please don't mind my hands. They are so ashy. I'm sorry. And then you're just going to chain up one like we've been doing. Turn your work and go. So, yeah, depending on how long you want this top to be depends. That's how many rows that you're going to do. I ended up doing um, I ended up doing 25. And this is me coming up on the end of that. I did 25 rows because I kind of wanted to be croppish, but not fully croppish. It's like almost full length, but it's not. So, yeah, here we are coming up on the end of that last row. And now we're working on the sleeves. Now we're going to add on to the sleeves part. So I just uh, finished off on that. Finished off so I can show you guys what you what your pattern should be looking like. You should have this big, giant square. You know, you're going to want to work it all the way up into where your 
armpit starts. Once you get to your armpit, that's where you want to stop it at. So, you know, and you work it on down however long that you want it to be, but you're going to stop at the armpit. And now we're going to get ready to add on the length of the sleeves. So instead of adding on the sleeves last, we're going to go ahead and add on some length to the sleeves as we work the body because I just find that to be so easier, sometimes so much easier. And I like the look that it gives. It's like the sleeve is part of the body, but then it like cuts off and then boom, the real sleeve starts, if that makes any sense. But yeah, I'm adding on 20 chains to mine. So I just did a slip stitch and now I'm chaining on my 20 chains for my added on extended, uh, extended, um, <laughs> extended sleeve. So yeah, we're doing that. Chaining up 20. You can actually add as many or as less as you want, depending on how long you want it. But yeah, I just chained up 20. And now I'm going to half double crochet into that very first half double crochet on that edge. And this counts as the, um, yeah, you just yarn over, go right into that, and half double crochet. I'm telling you guys, there's so many different ways to construct sweaters and stuff like that. With crochet, you can just never go wrong. You can never. Yeah, half double crochet right into there. And then just go ahead and half double crochet all the way down till you get to the very end. But yeah, you add on high, however long that you want your sleeve to be added on. Originally, I didn't mean for my extended sleeve to be as long as it was, but it actually turned out to be cute, so I didn't go back and change it. I did. So yeah, here we are crocheting all the way down. So yeah, here we are at that very last one. I'm just putting a half double crochet in. And now we're going to add the next, the other sleeve extended. I'm sorry, here's the last half double crochet. And once we have double crochet into there, we are going to start again to extend the sleeves. So chain up, chain another 20. Chain another 20. Let me stop. <laughs> Ooh, y'all, I'm kind of tired. Excited to get this out, y'all. Karen, Karen, sponsor your girl. You're actually gonna chain 21 because you know we need that turner chain. So yeah, we chain 21 and then you're just going to half double crochet into the second chain from the hook and then just all the way down. And this is like, this is the sleeve part. We did the body part first, which was row one through 25 or one through however long you want your sweater to be. And now this is row one. Well, row two now of the extended sleeve part. So, yeah, you're just going to half double crochet all the way down. That's it. Half double crochet all the way down. And this will actually be row two because we do count where we added on to the sleeve length. That was the first row of that. And when you do this, you want to take measure your measure your arm around. You want to measure your arm the circumference, the widest part of your arm. And then you're going to divide that number by two. Whatever that number is, that's how long your extended sleeve section should be. So I think mine's was like, um, let me see. Mine's was four, mine's was actually nine. My mannequin arm was nine inches around. So my the top part of this part needs to be extended to four and a half. Cause you know, we're doing half and half. Once you put that back panel so the back panel onto the front panel then it's actually nine inches so i'm making my extended sleeve part um four and a half inches tall like i said measure the widest part of your arm divided by two and whatever that number is that's how tall your um that's how tall yo your, your sleeves need to be girl that's how tall they need to be But yeah, here we are just crocheting all the way down to the end of the row. Oh, oh. Y'all, this sweater is so easy. I live. It's so easy. So just chain up one, turn your work, and have double crochet all the way down. I did 15 rows. Remember, you count the row where you chained the extension 
You count that row. You count it. You count it. So, yeah, I'm doing 15 rows all together. I don't know if I'm showing another row on camera, but I, pro I probably am. Yeah. I got so carried away with my new setup. I'm so comfortable crocheting in front of the camera now. It's not all in my way, and I'm knocking it over and all of that. Like, I'm so comfortable that I'm like, let, let me let y'all see everything. Everything, everything. Like, I'm trying to show you guys, give y'all a visual. I don't want anybody to be lost. I want you guys to be able to see everything that I'm doing. So, yeah. I'm trying to, you know, catch as much on camera as I possibly can. But yes. Here we are at the end of that. Boom, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Chain up one. Turn your work. And go on down. And yes, that's how you did the that's how you do the extended sleeve part, you guys. So so easy. Oh, so easy. But yeah, this is me coming up on the end of my row 15. The editing magic. The editing magic. And I'm just going to finish off. And you want to make two panels. You want to do this twice. You need two panels because you can't just have a front, girl. You can't just have a front. We don't want to make a medical gown. We don't want to have it strapped up in the back with little straps. We want a full back on this. A full back. All teeth, all shape, all facts, okay? So you want to do that two times. So, of course, you know, I've already did mine twice already. And y'all, don't mind my toes. I'm all, my toes all out in the video and stuff. Don't be looking at my toes, y'all. Do not. <laughs> But yeah, I don't even know. I don't know why I didn't. Okay, I'm getting my other panel together so I can show you guys. So yes, and you're also want you're gonna want to count out your next section. You're going to want to count out. You see where I have those stitch markers? That is gonna be your next section. My next section. I can't even talk. My next section, I believe, is if I'm not mistaken, I believe is twenty on each side. I can't remember because I think I know my neck is six and a half inches. So I measured the center to do six and a half inches and then I marked it off the middle where it's six and a half inches. But yeah, you're going to mark off your neckline. I believe that I did count out 40 from count out 40 from each sleeve edge and then you're going to put a stitch marker in the 40th one and that's going to be your middle i believe don't don't hold me to it you know you i'm so sorry that i didn't know this you guys i should have wrote it down i'm looking at my notes now and i do not have it written down but right now i'm just showing you guys where we're going to stitch it up together at where we're going to stitch but yeah i believe is i think my neck is 40 all together i think i um yeah I believe so, you guys. Lord have mercy. But yeah, now I'm just going to show you. You're just going to pick it up, and we're just going to seam it together. As I was talking to you guys, I was actually showing you guys where to um, stitch, where we were sewing it together at. So if you need to go back, if you was listening to me and not paying attention to the video, just rewind it back just a tad bit to see where I was showing you guys where to sew it. But if you know what a shirt is and you know how the hell a shirt go, then you don't need, you know how to damn sew this thing together. Y'all don't need me to show you guys that. Don't sew your arm holes together, sis. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> like, y'all got this. But just in case you don't, you know, your girl got you. You need to go back. Just rewind it back a little bit. Reverse, reverse. Da -da 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 -da. Let me stop. But seriously, though. But, yeah. If I'm I'm trying to make sure I got this neck hole scenario right. If I'm, like I said, I'm going to say this one more time. I'm sorry if I'm getting on y'all nerves by saying this over again. Count it out. Count out 40 stitches from each sleeve side and then put your stitch marker there. And that is where your, your neck hole, your neck hole will be in between them. I hope that makes sense. So that means if you did 40 like that, that means you need to make sure that when you sewing them together, that you sew them together 40. You don't want it to be um not right. But yeah, this is how I sew mine together. Y'all, I ain't never showed y'all how I sewed it on the camera, girl. I'm telling y'all this new setup got me feeling myself. Feeling myself to the max. Like, girl, everything. We getting it all. Capture this capture this moment sis but yeah so that's me just seaming up um one side of my sweater 
I'm not gonna show you how to seam up all of it. I just wanted you guys to see how I how I seam mine together. And then I'm just going to um go ahead and sew in my ends because this is an important this is an important end. You do not want your seam to come apart like you don't want your seam to come apart. So you make sure you sew that in extremely, extremely well. Like extremely, extremely well. <clears throat> But yes, you guys, we do that. And we almost done with this. Well, no, we not. We still got to do the sleeves and the neck. I lied. I lied. We not almost done. But we close, though. But we close. We about halfway. We halfway through the tutorial. But yes, here we are. I'm sorry, you guys, about the light and it did get dark. It the, the sun went down. This is a new day. But this is what I want to go ahead and show you guys what your sleeve is going to look like. Because I've already did the sleeve off camera. This is what your sleeve is going to look like. I just want to give you a visual. So, yeah, here we are. You're just going to grab grab this sleeve. I'm sorry about my feet, you guys. Please don't mind my toe. The crusty girl. Now, let me stop. <laughs> but, yeah, you're going to go up on the top part. You want to join it where you seamed it at. You see where I'm at? I'm at the top part of the seam, not the bottom, but the top. And first, we're just going to put the um, foundation. We're going to put a foundation. Um a foundation row on it first before we start, before we really get into the bell sleeve. And the, with the foundation, what I'm, I'll, 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 I cannot talk. God, God almighty, I cannot talk. All I'm doing is on in the edge, in each half double crochet edge, in the first one I put one single crochet. You know, we're just attaching it right now. And that very first one, we're going to put one single crochet. And then in the next half double crochet edge, you're going to put two single crochets and then you're going to put one in the next edge then you're going to put two in the next edge so basically every other one is going to be two single crochets in the half double crochet edge and that's what i'm doing because i know you can't really it's kind of hard to see that edging with this yarn and it's kind of hard so i'm just telling you guys is in the first in the first uh half double crochet edge is one the second Half double crochet edge is two single crochets. And the next one is every other one. And I'm not going to say it again because I know I'm probably aggravating this hell. S keep on repeating it over and over. But y'all know. Because I'm telling y'all. I know y'all people. Y'all probably be like, you always saying the same thing over and over and over and over. And over again. But you will be so surprised how many times people ask me things that I said in the video in the comments over and over and over and over again. So you know what? If y'all going to ask me a million times in the comments, I'm going to say it a million times on the camera. And now we even, <laughs> we even out here, but yeah, so you're just going to want to put that, um, you don't want to put that single crochet edging around there before we get into the bell sleeve, before we really get into the T. So yeah, we're just doing that girl, doing that. And I'm going to go ahead and, and put y'all on game. Once you get to that last single crochet you know you put your last single crochet in there you're just going to slip stitch into that very first single crochet chain up to and turn your work but before you do that you need to count out how many single crochets because you need to mark out where we're going to be putting in we need to mark off where our bell sleeve is going to be so you need to count how many single crochets you got and then half that and whatever that number is that's where you need to place your stitch marker at because that's where we're going to be increasing so yeah this is me i'm just going to count mines out again to make sure because you don't want your bell sleeve to be like not right you want it to be perfectly centered in the um in the bottom you want it to be perfectly centered at the bottom so that so that it's not off So yeah, I'm just going to put my stitch marker. I I was having a brain fart, y'all. I was trying to count. It looked like I'm froze, but I'm not really froze. I'm just trying to do math. I'm really I'm really dumb. I'm really dumb when it comes to math, girl. My mental math is not good. I can't do it. I need a calculator at all times. You see how long it just took me to divide my number in half? It took me a whole cold 10 seconds. Like, what was it? What is that? <laughs> but yeah, I'm putting my stitch marker right there. Boom, bam. Thank you, ma'am. And that's where I'm going to be. Ex that's where I'm going to be making the, the bell part, basically. Like, you're going to see what I mean when we get there. Okay, so, yeah, we just chain up two now. Chain up two. 
Have I already? Let me see. Have I already? No, I I haven't um slip stitched. Yeah, we're gonna slip stitch into that first single crochet chain up two because we're doing half double crochets now. Oh, I got hiccups. So now you skip that slip stitch. You not have double crochet in that slip stitch. You're gonna go right into that last stitch of the row. Not in the slip stitch, you guys. The last stitch right there. Y'all see it? Half double crochet. You're just going to not have double crochet. I'm so sorry. Double crochet, you guys. Double crochet. You're gonna double crochet all the way around until you get to where you placed your stitch marker. So here I am at my stitch marker. And at the stitch marker, all you're going to want to do is place, you're going to put two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet in that exact same stitch. So I'm about to show you how to do it. I think, did I do? No, I think it might be one double crochet. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. I'm sorry, it's not two double crochet, it's one double crochet. One double crochet, chain one, one double crochet in that same stitch. And then you're just going to double crochet around regularly. So again, you guys, I'm so sorry. One double crochet, chain one, one double crochet into that stitch. And you're going to do that every single, every single row. That's it. That's to get the bell sleeve. That's all we do. Just that one simple thing is going to give us this big, dramatic, over-the-top sleeve. So yeah, here we are at the end. You're just going to slip stitch into that very first double crochet. Not into the chain two, but into the actual to, into the actual double crochet and then you're going to turn your work and you're just going to double crochet right into that last stitch not into the slip stitch and double crochet all the way down till we get to that chain that chain one do i keep saying half double crochet i'm sorry y'all double crochet all the way down till we get to that um there we are you can't really see it that good because of the fuzziness of this sweater but yeah here we are that's the last double crochet before the chain and now you're just going to put the Double crochet, chain, chain one, double crochet into that chain space. And then again, just double crochet all the way down normally. Go ahead, go ahead with your bad self. And this is just gonna give us this big, dramatic, over the top, girl, what was it sleeve, okay? So here we are at the end of that, and you're just going to, again, slip stitch into that very first stitch, not into the chain, not into that chain, but into the actual stitch. And you're just going to slip stitch, chain up one, turn your work. Then you're gonna double crochet again, all the way down till you get to that uh, chain space. Yep, all the way until you get to that chain space. And there you are. We got the chain space. And again, you're just going to put a... Uh, here we are at the chain space. and just going to put a double crochet, chain one, double crochet into that same one. And then all the way around, round, round, double crochet all the way around normally. And that's it. You're going to do that for 28 rows. You're going to do that. So you got this. You got a row of single crochet. And then you're going to um, do the bell sleeve for 28 rows. Or you can do more or less depending on how extra you are. I wanted mine to land right at the fingertips. So to get it right at the fingertips, mine was 28 rows. Yours may be more, less, give or take, depending on, um, you know, what size you're making. But mine, it was, like I said, it's 28 rows. So boom, here we are at the end of that, uh, the 28 row. And all we have left to do now is the neck. I'm not even gonna lie, I cut it short on the neck, y'all. Cause I mean, it all depends on how you want your neckline to go. Like, well, how, how you want your neck to be or what. But I, I can't remember, cause I already gave the sweater away. I gave it to my model for modeling for me. Shout out to you, girl. She killed it. My model slayed it. My photographer slayed it too. But um, I believe I did, well, we'll get into it when we get into it. I'm a, a little ahead of myself. But yeah, you just um, slip stitch into that very first double crochet. 
finish off and that sleeve is done it's done done so yeah now we here we are at the wait i'm gonna i guess i'm gonna show y'all again what y'all sleeve should look like what your sleeve should look like let me get the camera together get the, get the get the get the um tripod out the damn frame and stuff but yes here we are this is what your sleeve is what you should have at this point boom i'm telling y'all it looks so big on um, but i'm telling you it works out it works out it's like it's just enough drama you know it's just enough mess where you you don't want to leave the group chat but you don't want to stay either you know but but it's too juicy and too good that you just can't leave the what was it sometimes a little mess is a, okay a little drama ain't never hurt nobody it didn't it didn't <laughs> and here i am just counting out my neck row which i'm pretty sure is 20 and i'm just putting um i'm trying to find the center of the back neck so yeah we're at the neckline you want to find the center of the back of your neck because you know you want your seam even though it's pr it's pretty much seamless you still want your seam to be in the middle you don't want to have it wacky in a random spot even though nobody's gonna even be able to tell but still so yeah you're just gonna we re reattaching at the neckline now smooth operator <sighs> boom we're back to doing half double crochets now you guys so chain up one chain up one and you're just going to have double crochet all the way around all the way around let me tell y'all a little bit about caron cakes i was not a fan of caron cakes because i'm not a fan of self-striping anywhere that you want it really fucks with my ocd like i i don't like for it to be like random i like for my lines to be lines and straight and you know i don't want my purples to be mixing in with my blues and my greens to be mixing in with my whites you know i just need it all together you know normal normal but i was like you know what i lived i live for this yarn I, I live for this yarn so i was like you know what i'm gonna get over it i'm just gonna do this what i don't even care how it comes out i don't care if my stripes ain't perfect and how i like them to be i don't even care and i'm glad that i did because i'm living for this but yeah here we are coming up on the um very last half double crochet and you're just going to slip stitch into that very first half double crochet Yep, slip. I'm sorry, y'all. I was struggling, struggling. Girl, what are you doing? Yep, slip stitch into that very one. You're going to chain up one. Well, chain up two. I'm, well, nope, chain up one. <laughs> I, I fooled myself. Chain up one, turn your work. And again, don't, don't go into that slip stitch. Go into that last stitch. And you're just going to half double crochet into that very last stitch and all the way around. And you're just going to do this until you have the neckline that you want, whether it be a mock turtleneck, which I'm going to say if you want a mock turtleneck, I would say stop at about 10. Or if you want a full turtleneck, I would say go up to about 10 to 15 so that it's able to fold down, you know, whatever you want, however you want to do it. I believe I did between 12 to 15 rows. I, like I said earlier, I'm not quite sure because this is where the video actually ends at, you know, because I was just like, girl, I'm tired of recording at this point, like, Huh, y'all know what to do we just have double crocheting all the way around and you just finish off when you are done but yeah this is me coming up on the end of that and you just do however to get whatever you want to do you do however many rows of turtleneck that you want and that's it y'all like i think i go i think i'm gonna show y'all one more row i'm not sure let me scroll through this footage and see ow, ow, ow. no that's the end yes you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial i hope it was easy i feel like uh i don't know how i feel about how i just explained this tutorial for y'all i didn't have to stop not one time i don't feel like going back and changing and fixing anything so i hope you guys really were able to understand it i really enjoyed making this tutorial and you guys please like subscribe comment all of that good stuff you know come join the facebook sun clan family where you know it's just a uh, wonderful beautiful inspiration all the time we helping each other we living our best lives unbothered 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 and drama free around here these days finally 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 now i'm playing but yes you guys i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and until next time y'all already know happy crocheting and stay sunny